Hello everyone, this is Susie Q. Welcome to my nursery window. And today it's a really beautiful sunny day outside and it looks like we're going to have another wonderful fall day. And um, so I thought I would change baby Sophie um, today. And baby Sophie is someone that, um, that I haven't introduced to you yet, except for when I did my nursery tour. And baby Sophie is, is the Michelle sculpt by Evelina Woznook. And um, she's, uh, she's my, I would say, my most youngest baby. She's more newborn than any of the babies that I have in my nursery. And she's got that little, um, that little cute newborn look about her. And she's got those newborn eyes, which, you know, the, the color of eyes that, they look kind of blue, but you're not real sure. So she's a little, little tiny thing. And she's another one of my babies, um, like Sunny, that's kind of in between a preemie and a newborn size. So it's kind of hard to get clothes for her. But her and Sunny can uh, share the same outfit. So that's, that's really good. So today, uh, little Sophie is going to be uh, changed out of her sleeper and into um, a really uh, pretty knitted outfit that came with her. And um, this is the outfit. And I, of course, you know I love knitted and crocheted things because I can't do it, but uh, there's so many talented ladies out there that can. Anyway, um, this little outfit, uh, it's a little dress, little knitted dress, and it came with um, some little knitted bloomers. It's just so precious. You see the little, little tiny flowers with the pearls in there. So intricate. And then the lace and the, the, um, the ribbons. And, of course, all you know that uh, has seen my videos, I love all those little cute little feminine baby girl touches. And then I thought I would top it off with this color of a bow. Now, Sophie is already wearing this bow. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep that on her. The other thing um, I'll show you is these little shoes. And these little shoes, they're knitted also. And they came with the dress. And I felt so fortunate that the, um, the owner, this is, I believe I'm the second owner of this baby. Um, the first owner sent this beautiful outfit with her. And... Um, when I saw little Sophie online, this was the first thing I noticed was the dress and the and the booties and I just and then she was so cute that I just had to I had to go for it. So I've had her for probably about a year now. And then I thought since it's it's a chilly day today that I would also um add this little pink um either knitted or crocheted sweater. And this came with her also. It's just, just right. It's just her size. So let's, let's go ahead and, um, and get started on this outfit. And um, so this morning, um, first thing in the morning, what I always do um, when I first get up is I make myself a cup of coffee because I love coffee. And um, during, during the winter time, I mix it with um, hot chocolate. I have one of those Keurig machines and so it's so easy to to make coffee, hot chocolate, hot tea, whatever. And so I mix those two together during the winter, winter time. Um, and then I sit down in front of my laptop and I look for any new videos um, of the, the ladies that I've subscribed to. And um, this morning, I, I really enjoyed the morning. It was, um, I, I, had, I watched a really fun video by uh, Kara that she gave us, um, she gave us a tour of a, um, of a garden that her and her family had visited. And it was about the 12 days of Christmas, and it was really fun to watch. And then I watched um, the, the Having You On um, 
Yvonne's video about Theme Thursday, but she had some other really neat things to say too. So anyway, it's just really fun and relaxing to start my day. Um, I'm always hoping and, and praying that there's videos uh, on there for me in the morning, and there usually is. So um, that was really fun. I wanted to show you um, little Sophie's hair because it's um, it's really neat and it's unusual. It's made out of um, ang Angora mohair. And the person, um, the artist, let me see, her artist um, is Fran Peck by Bexhill, Bexhill Reborn Babies. And I think she's from the UK. And anyway, she did an awesome job. Um, somehow she, she um, put the hair in to make it look so realistic. It looks like a real baby's head with hair. And it's so delicate and nice. I just love it. And so she's my other little blondie baby. Aren't ya? Yes. And she likes her little pacifier, as you can see. So, without further ado, I am going to put her, her little dress on. And this is such an easy dress to put on because it has um, buttons all the way down the back. And so we just undo the buttons and pop it right on. So yeah, I'm looking forward to, to Thanksgiving this week. Um, I really enjoy cooking and baking and stuff for special holidays. And um, so it's gonna be a real treat to get to do all those special things. And we'll put little Sophie aside right here. She is so adorable, I mean it. She has her little bracelet on that says Sophie. Oh, she's, um, by the way, she's, I should have showed you, she's three quarter, three quarter arms and three quarter legs. And um, they're jointed. So the arms and legs are jointed, so it makes for really easy um, posing and movement. Uh, I just love this little girl and she and my uh, little smiling Sunny, they share the same bassinet because they're both so tiny they can fit into it together. Um, so I have them together in, in one bassinet. The rest of my baby dolls are so, they're, they're you know, they're like uh, newborn in size zero to three months and so I have them set up each in their own little, like, stroller or whatever. And that's how I work it out in my nursery. Yeah. Let's turn you back around there, Miss Sophie. Yes. Cutie. And, oh, let's go ahead and we have one more thing to put on under there. I knew something was missing. And just cute little bloomers. They have um, a nice little um, crocheted or knitted design on the back that I just, I just love. I love the details in fabrics and um, lace and, uh, you know, knitted things, crocheted things. I'm all about that detail. It makes it so special, I think. So this fits her really well, um, even though she's three-quarter legs, it, it fits her just right. I like that. Okay, little one. Now, um, we're going to go ahead and take her, her socks off because she doesn't need them on with her nice warm booties. And look at those little tiny feet. I mean, I mean to say, those little feet. And they're just so well, she's so well painted. And I really, really like the babies that are reborn, um, just lightly veined and painted. I like that, the, the lightly veined look, the, the natural look. And so, um, Sophie, most of my doll, all, I, I guess all of my dolls have that natural look. 
Um, but she does, you know, she has some veining, but it's you can barely see it, and it just looks so nice. So let's go ahead and put her booties on. And these actually untie, so they fit really nicely. I was looking on Etsy this morning also, um, and found a, the, 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 there's just so many cute knitted things, crocheted things that, that people make. And um, I saw this, this really, this lady that has like a whole bunch of cute knitted little outfits like like this and uh, let's see was she from I think for, she was from Australia and I almost bought an outfit because I thought it was reasonably priced and it, and I, I mean it was reasonably priced it was only about I think it was only about like twenty two dollars or something like that and then but then what happened was um, when I put it in the cart and saw the shipping on it, I thought, oops, it was like a $15 shipping, which um, really added to the, the cost of it. And so I decided not to go for it, um, even though I just thought it would be really cute to have. So one of these days I'm gonna have to figure out how to knit and crochet I know how to crochet like chains and hook chains together and make, you know, not even make anything, just make a line of chains that hook into each other. But um, I think if I, since I know that much, maybe I could figure the rest of it out. Okay, Sophie, let's put your little bow back in. And I think you're set, except for your sweater. Here you go. Yep. Okay, let's see how we do with this little sweater. The sweater is really neat too. It has these uh, pretty pearl, uh, pink pearl buttons on either side. And so I thought that was really pretty, really, really pretty. Um, don't know who made this sweater, but I believe it looks handmade and there's no label on it. So I'm guessing that someone, someone made this. So we'll just put that on you, little Sophie, because I think it's going to be a little chilly today. Let's get that on. There we go. And I think that goes really nicely and gets her all cuddled up. I think I'm going to, let me see, I don't know if that would be too much if I tied a little bow, maybe too many bows. Let's let's try it out. Is that too many bows? Well, you know what? I always say there's, I, I can never get enough of too many bows, too many laces, whatever. So this is going to stay. Yes, it is. Okay, everyone. Um, it looks like I have little baby Sophie all dressed up for today. Um, I hope you enjoy your day today, and um, this is going to be a little bit shorter video than, than usual. I guess I just didn't have a lot to gab about today, but I hope you enjoyed watching um, little Sophie get dressed up in her cute knitted outfit. And uh, anyway, everyone, um, thanks for stopping by and, and visiting with me today. I always enjoy you and love all your comments. So. Um, Time for me to sign off. Until the next time, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.